Hey everyone, and welcome to Weight Loss Wednesday. I'm Chef AJ, the author of Unprocessed, The Secrets to Ultimate Weight Loss, and my newest book, Own Your Health, and this is where I show you recipes for healthy, permanent, and sustainable weight loss. And today I'm gonna to be making one of my favorite recipes from Own Your Health, and I call it Zucchini Saute. I think I love this so much because my favorite colors are purple and green, and this has both. So it starts with an onion, and I always say everything starts with an onion. People that can't have onion, I don't know how how you do it because sauteed onion especially when added to sauteed garlic is really the foundation of well I've, I'm told French cooking but really all cooking I've got my pan already heated up I always say use the best pan you can afford I've had this pan for years from Pampered Chef it's a saute pan it's like a wok I love it because it's got a lot of it's very deep I don't know if they make it anymore if you're not comfortable with nonstick you can get waterless cookware, you can get stainless steel. But I want to show you this really cool tool called the Vidalia Chop Wizard because it's hard to cut onions and get them all the same size so that this really cool tool I used on both the onion and the zucchini. I'll just show you one little piece there. You just press down and it's very easy to use and every piece is the same size. So I love tools like this. It's about $20 Bed Bath & Beyond. It's in my Amazon store. You want to make sure you get your pan nice and hot and the way you know it's ready is you do the water test just put water and if the balls little beads of water move around it's ready so now I can add my onion people always ask me how to saute without oil and without being facetious I say you just don't use oil you have a good pan you really don't need any oil I don't recommend you use cast iron because Dr. Barnard says that high iron levels in the blood are linked to Alzheimer's so you want to either get stainless steel some people use the scan pan the green pan ceramic cookware waterless so I just kind of let these guys hang out and I'm doing these in high heat because I want my onion nice and brown and caramelized if you don't want to go that dark you can always lower the heat and always keeps either some water or some no sodium or low sodium vegetable broth nearby so that you can add it if the pan needs that and I'll show you what that means as these heat up I've got my zucchini ready it's already cubed I used the same little chopper to make little cubes of zucchini and my shredded red cabbage I'm a little lazy I bought it already shredded but feel free to buy it whole and shred it yourself now we don't want to add the garlic right now because garlic tends to burn we don't want to add that till the onion is done but I like to get my garlic ready and of course you can use the jarred garlic that's already chopped if you like just make sure it doesn't have any sugar or oil or salt or weird additives or preservatives I think citric acid is fine and we're going to take this little chopper that I love it's from Tupperware and with just a couple of pulls I can chop it as coarsely or as finely as I want I really prefer this to the garlic press because those garlic presses are so hard to clean and you can see how finely I got this chopped so what I start to do is you can see I'm moving it around in the pan you can see it's already getting a nice char on it and if I think it's going to stick, which it won't because it's non-stick, at any time during the cooking process, you can see how quickly this browns at high heat with a good pan. So you really don't need oil. But if I'm worried, I can just put a little drop of water or broth there and then continue to move it around. I'm using a sweet onion just because I like that, but you could use any color onion you want. Red onion tends to be a little bit stronger. If you don't mind that strong flavor, you can use whatever onion you have. And again, I'm just going to let it rest. Isn't this a beautiful spatula? This was given to me by my dear friend Tammy Kramer of Nutmeg Notebook. So we're just going to let these guys rest for another moment. It's really important in my opinion whether you're making a meal for yourself or for family especially if you're having a party or teaching a class that you get everything ready that's called mise en place so you notice before I even started cooking I had all my ingredients chopped and prepped again you can always add a little more liquid get these nice and caramelized 
I really don't have a substitute for onion if you can't have it in a recipe. I'm sorry. I mean, I know there's a spice called hing that gives the flavor, but man, these aromatics like onion and garlic and leek, shallots, they really are the foundation of all my recipes, especially since I'm not using sugar, oil, or salt in any of the recipes. And you know, I learned this from Chef Darshan Athakur of Forks Over Knives. Since this is the foundation of so many dishes, I could actually let this cool and freeze this so that next time I need to do this, I don't have to go through this process again. And cooking onions this way is delicious if you're having something like a burger, or not a burger, a meat burger, but I mean like a bean burger or a plant burger. It's so delicious when you have sauteed onions and the house just smells Amazing. What I liked about this onion is it didn't make me cry when I chopped it. Like red onions always seem to make me cry more. So again, you can go as dark or as light as you want. And then once you get the onion to where you want it, you can add your garlic. You can never have too much garlic in my opinion. And then we'll just saute this for just a little bit longer. And again, just adding any kind of liquid as you go. And we'll saute this for up to a minute. And sometimes I make this dish earlier in the day and then have it for dinner over a grain like millet or quinoa or brown rice, white rice, red rice, black rice, even over mashed potatoes. You want to have it over starch because otherwise you're not going to get enough calories. It's just non-starchy vegetables. And then I can just heat it up right before. And then I'm going to add my zucchini. And wait till I add the purple cabbage because that is going to taste amazing. I've made this dish before with mushrooms and I know mushrooms are healthy but it just it takes over. It, it, it doesn't keep it a beautiful color because of the color of mushrooms and it just takes over. So this is my favorite way to do it with just four vegetables. The onion, the garlic, the zucchini, and the cabbage. So I usually add a little bit of water so it cooks a little bit faster from the steam. You could cover it if you wanted to to get it to cook faster. And you can cook it al dente so there's still a little bit of bite. You don't want the zucchini to be mush. At least I don't. And you want the cubes to be big enough so that when they do soften, they're going to hold their shape or their integrity. You could probably do circles though. This is just such a tasty combination. And then I'm going to add my beautiful purple cabbage. I mean, I suppose you could use green cabbage, but then it wouldn't be purple and it wouldn't be as beautiful. So we just want to mix everything up. And again, I'm going to add some more water so that it'll steam it a little bit faster. If you have the book, it's on page 167. And onion and garlic are so flavorful that honestly, you don't need to add a sauce to this. You can if you want, but it is so flavorful, both as a side dish or as a main over a starch. But if you did add a sauce, one of my favorites is the teriyaki reduced balsamic vinegar from California balsamic, just a drizzle, or the hickory smoked. Suppose the curry would be good too. Or if you've ever tried my Thai peanut free sauce, which tastes exactly like peanuts, but there's no peanuts or legumes or nuts of any kind. It's very low fat. I've done that recipe. I'll link to it below. And again, you can always add more or less of anything you like, leaving out what you don't like. But as I said many times, everything starts with an onion. And this is just a really pretty dish. You know, they say we eat with our eyes, not literally, but we want the food to be as pretty as possible. So again, adding the water just allowed it to steam a little bit more quickly. And I'm just waiting for the zucchini to be just a little bit softer to my liking. 
because the cabbage is cut so finely it will cook quickly but of course we want to keep that nice crunch you could throw in a few shredded carrots in here if you want but isn't this a beautiful looking dish the green and the purple together now what you can do when it's almost done if you like since I'm not going to be eating this till dinner time as you turn the heat off because it will still cook for a little bit longer stir it up and then cover it until dinner time and then when you're ready you can just heat it up thank you so much for watching another episode of weight loss wednesday I'm Chef AJ, and I truly believe you can have both the health and the body that you so richly deserve.